Oops. Ian, please try to stay clean. Well, at least until you get to Daddy's office. Too bad it wasn't bring an alien to work day. That would be cool. Ian, then Daddy wouldn't be able to bring us. Speak for yourself, Earth girl. <laughs> Perry, no chew toys at the table. That's okay. He probably thinks I need a toy phone at the office. Oh, speaking of which, we should be off. Goodbye, darling. Mwah. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, darling. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a good day at work. <laughs> can't hear you. I'm on the subway. On my way to work. Yes, I've got a really important job as an... Uh... Dad, <laughs> what is your job called again? I'm an architect, sweetie. Oh, yeah. I've got a job as an architect. You know, designing houses and buildings and stuff. Ian, there's a frog in your... Shh! I know. His name is Cedric. Why are you bringing him to Dad's work? I was afraid Mom would find him. You know she doesn't like frogs. Okay, kids, this is our stop. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Sam. What do we have here? This is my daughter Olivia and my son Ian. Pleased to meet you. I like your badge. Well, this must be your lucky day. I happen to have one especially for you. What do you say? I love that it matches my outfit. Uh, yeah, besides that. Thank you, Mr. Security Guard. <gasps> uh, what was that? Uh... Ian's funny way of saying thank you. Hmm. You might have a future as a ventriloquist, Ian. I get to push the elevator buttons. Three, two, one... Blast off! Uh... I think we've gone past Dad's office. Ian, I know how to get to Dad's office. We're taking a shortcut. Everybody hang on. Roger that. <laughs> Next stop, Dad's office. Okay, kids, that's enough with the buttons. It will take us all day to get up to the office at this rate. Yay! We're at the office, finally! This way, guys. <laughs> see our house from up here. Well, is our most talented architect here? Oh, hello, Mr. Beeswax. I'd like you to meet my children, Olivia and Ian. Kids, this is Mr. Beeswax. Hello, Mr. Beeswax. You, um... It's bring your child to work day. Oh, that explains all of the children in the copy room. Ian wanted it to be bring an alien to work day. But I talked him out of it. And I'm glad you did. And now, is your model for the new aquarium ready? I need to show it to the board of directors this afternoon. This afternoon? But I thought I had much more time to finish it. So did I. You have until 3 o'clock. I know you can do it. Oh, that's not very much time. Can we help? Hmm. Hmm. What I need you to do is take these files and empty the paper inside into this recycling bin. Then put the empty file folder in this box. That's it? But what about your model? We can help with that. Hey, uh, thank you, honey, but I have to do that one on my own. Hey, you're getting pretty good at that trick, Ian. Okay, I'll be back to check on you in a little while. This is kind of fun. Not as much fun as building a model of an aquarium. Rule of life number 41. What's the point of bringing kids to work if they can't help? 
Cedric says he'll help too. Hmm. Back it up, Cedric. We're building an aquarium for Dad. <laughs> Ian, tell Cedric the cement is supposed to go over there. Come back, Cedric! Don't worry, he'll be okay. Besides, you heard Mr. Beeswax. We have to have this model done by 3 o'clock. But what if Cedric decides to hop home? He won't get very far. He can't even reach the elevator buttons. Let's go get more stuff for our model. Hi, I'm Olivia, and this is my brother Ian. Want to come help us build a model? Sure. You haven't seen a frog, have you? Supplies! Let's get started on the aquarium model. Hi, wanna help? Okay. Uh-oh. I think we were supposed to put that beam over there. But I just finished sticking this one on. That's where the humongous fish tank is going to go. What's gonna go in there? A frog. A frog? I don't like frogs. Don't worry, we have to catch it first. But it's going to be huge. People from all over will want to come to our aquarium to see it. Get away from me! Oh, I think someone found Cedric. We'd better go get him. Let's bring the aquarium. Get it away from me! Don't worry. Cedric couldn't hurt a fly. Well, maybe a fly, but not someone as big as you. What's going <gasps> on out here? Sorry about that, Mr. Beeswax, but my brother lost his frog. Well, he found a frog first, then he lost it again. He owned the office. His name is Cedric. We would have looked for him, but we were too busy making a model for the aquarium. Here you go, Cedric. <laughs> Uh, sorry about this, Mr. Beeswax. I was distracted with the aquarium project. Did you make this model, Olivia? Yes, with help from my construction workers. There are some very interesting ideas here. Oh, you've got a very talented young architect on your hands. Now, who wants pizza? Yeah! Hmm. Is that your model, Dad? Yes, it is. I'm worried it's not as interesting as yours, although I did borrow one of your ideas. Well, it's hard to beat a masterpiece, wouldn't you say? Just let me know if you need us to make any more models. <laughs> and on that day, the king invited every person in the kingdom to join in the celebration. Did an architect design that castle? Well, yes. Did an architect design our house? Yes. I think I want to be an architect when I grow up so that I can design a house for you and Dad. But we like this house. Yeah, but someday you may need more room for all the frogs Ian likes to bring home. Did your brother bring home another frog? Uh, yes, but he named him after Grandpa. <sighs> I better have a talk with your brother. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Mom. <sighs> Good night, Cedric. Look what I made with my pancake. <laughs> it's Olivia. <laughs> that doesn't look like me. That looks like a space alien. Take me to your leader. <gasps> No really good pancake portrait is complete without bows. Okay, now it's time for you little artists to eat your food. Mm. 
Mom, are you sure Ian is a member of our family? Yes, sweetie. I'm positive. Because he acts like he's from another planet. Ooh, another planet. That's funny. I was just reading about this new exhibit at the planetarium, and it sounds, well, <laughs> out of this world. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> out of this world? You know, it might be nice to take a trip into the city today. We can spend some quality time together as a family. Ian? Stop it! Ian, Olivia, settle down. I didn't do anything. I didn't say anything. <laughs> See? He's copying me. No, I'm not. I just told Mom I didn't do anything. Kids, uh, let's have a quiet contest and see who can not talk the longest, huh? No? You made William cry. Huh? You talked first. Okay, not a moment too soon. Looks like we've arrived at our destination. Whoa. The planetarium. Look at that. Glow-in-the-dark planets? I really like those glow-in-the-dark planets. If I had glow-in-the-dark planets, I'd probably go to bed early every night, just so I could look at them. They're educational, too. No glow-in-the-dark planets today, sweetie. But don't forget the lady at the ticket counter gave you a glow-in-the-dark sticker. Oh, yeah. At least I won't have to go to bed early now. Still, I sure would like that glow-in-the-dark mobile. Wow, there's the Milky Way. And the Big Dipper. And Cassiopeia. <laughs> That's right, little guy. And recently, a new Earth-like planet was discovered just outside of our solar system. Why don't you and your sister take a look through the telescope? Maybe you can spot it. Let me see, let me see. Pluto's not a planet anymore, and Mercury's the hottest planet in the solar system. Well, sounds like your little guy knows a lot about space. Where does he get it from? Hmm, well, uh... <laughs> not us. Hmm, where does he get it from? Maybe he's... an alien. Beep, burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Where are you from? Where are you from? What big eyes you have. My, what big eyes you have. Mom, Ian's an alien. It's not polite to call your brother names, sweetheart. Rule of life number 111. No matter what planet your brother is from, he's probably still going to have bad manners. So, how's it? Guess what? Ian's an alien from outer space. Wow, that must be some planetarium. It all makes sense. The strange way he acts, the stuff he knows about space, how he always copies me. It's obvious he's studying intelligent life forms on Earth. What do your parents think about Ian being an alien? I don't think they know. <gasps> <gasps> That's Ian. Quick, we need to put these on. What are these? Alien mind blockers. We don't want him to know what we're thinking. <laughs> See? I told you he's from outer space. What about Perry? 
Ian's probably using Perry's special doggy hearing to help him communicate with his home planet. It's all starting to make sense. Where are we going? To spy on Ian. It's locked. Can you see anything? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! Go away, Earthling. Annoying older sisters are not allowed. <laughs> this might help us here. What do you think he's doing in there? Probably building something to rid the world of older sisters. I have to find out what that space alien pretending to be my brother is up to. You might as well give up, Olivia. He's not going to let you in his room. I've got to do something. Older sisters all over the world are counting on me. So, uh, how are you planning to get up there? If I can't get into Ian's room, then I'll just wait right here for him to come out. It's not ready yet. What's not ready yet? Hey! Whoa! Watch it! Got you. What do you plan to do with me, space alien? Quiet, Earthling, or else. Or else what? Or else I'll give you this. Glow in the dark planets? I made them for you myself. Thanks, Ian. How's this? A little to the left, Daddy. How's this, Olivia? Okay, higher. No, no, lower. Ugh. Now go back over to the Olivia. right. Olivia? Okay, that's perfect. Whew. You know, Ian's design is really quite inventive. You have to admire his creativity. You're right. Maybe having an alien for a brother isn't so bad after all. Good night, Livy. A alien? Children, welcome back. I asked you all to bring in a photo of what you did on vacation. Who would like to go first? Harold? <sighs> My family went to Tiny Train Town, but I didn't get to ride any trains because I walked into a tree. I had to go to the first aid station. But here's a picture of the nice nurse lady. Thank you, Harold. Who would like to go next? <laughs> Olivia. Well, I went on a safari 
tree for a vacation, and I took lots of pictures of wild animals. Here's a ferocious wild cat. Here, he's stalking his prey. But luckily, his prey escaped. Olivia, you have captured the very essence of feline beauty on film. Why, those pictures should be in a museum. Thank you, Mrs. Hogg and Muller. I've decided I'm going to be a nature photographer when I grow up. Yes, Francine. Those aren't really nature pictures. They're her cat, Edwin. Cats are part of nature, too. A very important part. Yes, but they're not wild animals. May I show my photo now? For my vacation, I went to the Button Museum. They had pink buttons, blue buttons, white buttons, all different kinds of buttons. I thought Edwin looked pretty ferocious in your pictures. Well, if I'm going to be a nature photographer, I have to take pictures of real wild animals. Real wild animals? Yep. We'll just have to find some. Okay, Julian, the camera's ready to go. See any wild animals yet? There's one. Cool. It's a common tree frog. I've got to go in closer. Good. But not wild enough. Hmm. Now this is wild. looking for dragons. I thought you were a wild animal. Nope, just a normal dragon slayer. Arr! Rule of life number 30. Just because your little brother eats like a wild animal doesn't mean he is one. Julian, there's something in that bush. Let's get a picture. <laughs> Whatever it was is gone. Let's see if we got anything. See? This proves that there's a wild animal in the backyard. Um, what am I looking at? That bit of fur in the corner. We just need to wait for whatever it is to come back. That's why we need supplies. <laughs> Yogurt, apples, peanut butter. No peanut butter for me. Had it for breakfast. It's not for us. It's for that wild animal. And grab those bananas in case he has a monkey for a friend. Okay. <sighs> okay, kids. You're all set. We need to hide our tent so the wild animal doesn't see it and run away. <laughs> Good thinking. But remember, the most important thing about photographing nature is patience. Professional nature photographers sometimes wait days or even weeks to get a shot. We can do that. Francine, we're on a safari. But I haven't seen her for hours. Not since I dressed her up in doll clothes. You dress up your cat? We were having a tea party. I even made her little fish sticks. Francine, wait. 
Are you sure Gwendolyn's not in the house? Positive. Oh, no. What? Well, I hate to tell you this, Francine, but there's a wild animal out here. Look. <gasps> what is it? We're, We're not, not sure. sure. Did you bring your Dragon Slayer sword? You mean this? Thank you. I'll give it right back. Yeah! Oh, yeah! This will be the best wild animal picture ever taken. Wild animal in there. Ah! Gwendolyn, you're safe from the wild animal. Wait a minute. I think Gwendolyn was the wild animal. Her fur matches, and she has the same green eyes. Sorry, Olivia. I know you were hoping to find a real wild animal. I don't care if there was a real wild animal or not. Mrs. H was right. Your pictures belong in a museum. Hmm. My pictures, hanging in the Olivia Museum of Nature. Would you like to have it? Yes, yes! Thanks, Olivia. You're the best nature photographer ever. That was a good story, Mom. But I'm not sleepy yet. You've had quite a day, Olivia. Chasing wild animals around is hard work. I know. I bet it's a lot easier being a mom, right? <laughs> Maybe. Good night, Olivia. Good night, Mom. Mm -hmm. 